With the bunch of flagship devices coming out these days, how can Google stay behind? As we all know, the previous Pixel and the Pixel XL were by far the best phone. Not perfect although, but their cameras were terrific to play with. With the stock Android experience and their great build, they were very popular among the users. Let's see what they have for us in their next flagship device. Hey what is up guys, this is Idiotic Idiot and let's talk about Pixel in this one. Coming on the release date, as claimed by Evan Blass, the device will be unveiled on 5th of October. Just like the last year, Google announced two devices, the Pixel and the Pixel XL. This year also, we can expect the same thing, two Google devices that is Pixel 2 and the Pixel XL 2, under the codename of Walleye and Musky. But there are some rumors that Google may dump the Musky design and will bring a new model named Timon which will be larger than the musky one. Let's just quickly come to the specs of the device. Just like their predecessors, they will also offer high-end specifications. According to the rumors, the smaller device that is Pixel 2 will sport a 4.9 inch display whereas the larger one will sport 6 inch AMOLED screen. There are also rumors suggesting that the smaller will be manufactured by HTC whereas the larger one will be manufactured by LG. The smaller one will be a pretty much bumped up version of their predecessor, whereas Pixel XL 2 will have an aspect ratio of 2 by 1 which is quite interesting. Talking about the processor, well there is something interesting going on within the device. According to Evan Blass, he not only confirmed the release date but also tweeted that the device will be powered by Snapdragon 836 chipset which will have better performance than the predecessor 835, not very major but obviously some minor tweaks here and there. The GPU will be the same that is the Adreno 540. The Pixel 2 and the Pixel XL 2 will be the first device that will be powered by Snapdragon 836 chipset. The device will be rocking 4 gigs of RAM and will have 32 gigs internal storage on the base model. Just like last year, there will also be option of 128 gig as well. Well, if I suggest maybe Google should dump the 32 gig model and make it a 64 gig model, if possible, that would be a nicer option. There are some sad news for the music lovers, as Google will be dumping the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Seriously. Why is Google doing so? Why? Well, there are also rumors that the Google devices will be water and dust resistant, maybe IP68 or IP67, that is not confirmed yet. One more feature that is really much talked about is the squeeze feature, or what the rumor claims to be the active edge feature, which was seen before in the HTC U11. This feature could allow you to launch apps, settings, or Google Assistant by just squeezing the sides of the device. Maybe we can also remap it to whatever app we might, but let's just see what we will get. Last year's Pixel had the best camera you can get and this year also Google may give us the same or a better experience. A source has claimed that this time it will be an improved camera than the previous Pixel. The sensor size will be 12 megapixel for the rear one and 7 megapixel for the front both claiming to be able to record in 4K. The battery is not yet confirmed but there are rumors that the smaller version may have 2770 mAh and the larger one may have 3450 mAh. Not much is known about the cameras and battery, so it can be anyone's guess. Talking about the OS, both the device will have Android O right out of the box with the stock Android experience as in the previous versions. Let's quickly come to the design of the device. At the first, the design seemed to be similar to the Pixel XL with a metal and glass back with minor tweaks as the glass window is smaller than the previous one and the fingerprint is on the metal side this time. Well, the metal back confirms that there won't be wireless charging again. The camera cutout is much bigger than the previous one and Google is not going with dual camera setup. 
coming on the front, we will see a bigger display as mentioned before and the glass will be curved at the edges just like G6 which will be pretty nice. The device will be having USB type C for charging of the device and also serve as an audio jack as there is no 3.5mm jack this time. About the pricing of the device there is not much known but there is rumored that it will cost more than the last year's version which will make it hard for Google to compete. Well this is all for this video, hope you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below your thoughts about Pixel 2 and the Pixel XL 2. Also press that bell icon so that you get notified for my future videos. Let's make an aim to achieve 40 likes on this video. This is Idiotic Idiot signing off, talk to you guys in the next, peace.